Hey guys, so we're jumping straight in. This hair was sent to me by West Kiss, and I'm just showing y'all the goodies that I received in the box. Um, guys, I received a headscarf, um, a silk bag, elastic band for the wig, as well as wig caps. And I don't know if I'm missing anything, but y'all saw the stuff that I got. Guys, I prepped my wig like off camera. I added like foundation to the inside of the wig. Um, I also used my hot comb to push the wig back, like push the hairs all the way to the back. So it'll give me like a more natural install. And guys, this hair does appear to have transparent lace because my wig cap was just like showing through. So what I did, I just pulled my wig cap like all the way back so it wasn't like peeking through at the front. Um, for this install guys, um, it's pretty straightforward. All I used was the olive oil fix it spray and I'm just like positioning my wig until I get it how I want it. Then I'm gonna go in with some scissors and I cut the hair like down the mid. I cut the lace, sorry, down the middle as well as on both sides so basically this install I'll do it in like four sections so I'll start with the middle section first and after I've secured the middle section I'll just cut the excess lace off and then I'll move on to the side section so I'm really like using my hot comb to comb all the hairs back so this install will definitely look like I got a relaxer or something and yeah, I sprayed the hair in the middle of camera. I thought I was recording, but at the time it was not recording. And I'm just cutting the excess lace off. And for the areas that I think um, could use more of the hairspray, I'm gonna just add the ORS Fix It spray to that area to help with securing the wig. And I'm just using like some rubbing alcohol to clean off the excess spray. You have to be like careful because you know the spray tends to run. So yeah, I'm just using like that for cleanup and I'm using my blow dryer on cool. Guys, this is a method that I've used several times on my channel. If you've watched any of my wig videos before, you've seen me use this method. So yeah. It's pretty simple, nothing different than my usual like install. And if you haven't already, you can definitely go and check out like some other hair videos that I have, how I install my wigs. And yeah, guys, the hair fit like in the middle, it fit like really good. The only problem that I had was getting the sides to fit. I don't know if it's the shape of my head, guys, or the way the lace was made like the front it didn't fit my sides properly and i'll show you that clip like it's coming up i'll show you how the sides didn't really fit but i still made it work and the unit came out really nice that was what i was talking about guys like the lace stopped a bit short it didn't come all the way to my forehead to like to the front of my hair and I don't know if it's the way how my head is shaped I don't know if the way how the lace was made but it just didn't cover but I was still able to finesse it and I made the wig work and I think it looks pretty awesome when I was done and guys I'm just doing my part and I'm adding like some mousse to get that part straight and guys a full review of this hair is at the end of the video so please keep on watching because all the information that you want on this hair, the details, my thoughts are at the end of the video. And I'm literally just hot combing the hair so I can have that smooth, fresh, relaxer look. And I'm using um, alcohol to clean up the excess.
we're back and my makeup is done and must I say like sis I look beat to the gods like I don't know what happened but this makeup look was so bomb let me know if y'all want like a tutorial on this makeup look I've been doing this new thing to my under eyes and I think it looks super bomb but back to the wig guys it looked so good once I laid like some baby hairs even the side that was shorter it wasn't even like visible like that it wasn't noticeable and if you could really see that my sides were short you're like way too close to me but it looked pretty good and I managed to finesse it guys this hair I wanted to like curl like the front so I would have like you know I curled push back a kind of messy vibe and I didn't want to like have curls all over I just really wanted the front to have some loose kind of curls but guys this hair was pretty long and I didn't have a curling iron I was using my flat irons and it was like really annoying so I just like aborted the mission I did like a curl at the front and then I was just like uh, I don't know it's gonna take like a lot of work and the wig is already secured to my head so I decided against it and I went in and I flat ironed my hair off camera so this here does curl and it does straighten too. Okay guys, so this hair was sent to me by West Kiss Hair. This is their highlighter, one of their highlighted units. Um, they have like different like options for the highlights, but this is one that I chose and I'll leave like the exact op, like the exact one that I selected like down in the description bar. Guys, I have nothing like bad to say about this wig because this hair was not shedding and I did cut some off the sides when I was trying to like fix my size. So this hair did not shed at all. Even though it's colored, it has not shed. Um, it does take a curl because I did try curling it and then I was just like, I can't curl this because it's supposed to be 26 inches, but I feel like this hair is like 28 inches because it literally hits like right at my butt and i would possibly say that it could be like 30 inches i don't know it's not 26 inches that's more than 26 inches i swear this hair is a 180 percent density and i do think that it is a true 180 percent density it is full from the top to the bottom um i think the density is pretty good for like the length because it is a 26 inch but as i said i feel like it's longer than a 26 inch i really like it um these highlight wigs have been a thing now that's trending like on the internet so i really really like like this highlight wig the only problem i had with this wig was the way how it fit my head at the side and i showed you that while i was installing it i don't know if it's just the shape of my head or it's the shape of how the lace was done at the front but i had some issues with that but still i managed to like install the wig and i still managed to like finesse it so you wouldn't like necessarily see it so that's the only drawback i have to this wig but i'm really really loving it um i added some powder to the part added some powder on the front of the lace and that's about it the knots are not huge you can't see them with the makeup that i added so you can wear this wig without like bleaching and i think it would look even better if you like bleach the knots but yeah, I really like this wig and I think that's about it for this hair. If y'all are interested in like getting this wig, then all the details will be like down below in the description bar. And yeah, if you've reached like this far in the video, like be sure to like subscribe, be sure to like this um, video and comment like guys, like leave me a comment, like talk to me like in the, in the comments, like I do respond to most I would say most of my comments, I do try to respond to everybody, but like talk to me like in the comments, like let me know what y'all want to see. And yeah, if y'all are feeling this hair, then definitely like leave that in the comments too. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another one of my tutorials. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next one. I love you guys.